What's up everybody, coming at you with another episode of More Seasoning. I'm your host, Theory. And I'm Allie, but we are not more seasoning. We're less seasoning because we can't cook. <laughs> so This is us recreating the crab recipe that Jack and Farnham I'm your host, Farnham. Did on their channel, or their cooking channel, More Seasoning. Yes. Let's see if we can follow along. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, listen, so. I like to think that I can cook, but let's be realistic. I can't. Well, I do HelloFresh. And one of the things that Corey and I love to do together is we love to watch YouTube and eat food. So we fell in love with more seasoning a long time ago, and we've actually been following a lot of his recipes. And so we thought he seems to be the master chef while we're what Gordon Ramsay we yell at us for. <laughs> I don't know what we'd be, but we want to follow along. Um, I'm going to go ahead and preface this and say we've never cooked crab a day in our life. Nope. Uh, we barely ever order crab. And I have this weird thing about like texture where I, I have a hard time like cracking shells. It gives me like heebie jeebies. So we're just going to have fun. We're going to really follow step by step this recipe. Let's hope it turns out really, really well. And uh, I got nothing else to say other than watch the B-roll. We have, I mean, literally, we like, we fall into the tea. To the tea, literally. What he has. Literally. All you need is some sushi rice, salted butter, lemon, fresh garlic, pepper, and king crab or snow crab. <laughs> you actually wiped my lip off. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we're starting with prep work. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our rice ready because it's gonna take the longest. We're gonna do one cup of sushi rice. This smells stinky. What? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I mean, it just doesn't smell the best. It smells like rice. All right, so we're gonna start with the prep work, and this whole process is fairly quick, except this is a cup, for right? the rice. The rice is kind of pain in the butt. So what you're gonna want to do first and foremost is pour yourself about one cup of rice. Okay. You've got two people eating. Pour it in a pan, and then you're just gonna. Wait, wait, wait! We don't have a pan. Hold on. Right, we got clean pan. Okay, and then he said use hot water. I don't know. We'll starch off the rice, so we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes in hot water, and then we're gonna take a whisk or a fork. I've never heard of washing your rice. Uh, you're supposed to. Um, I've never heard of doing it with hot water. I've always heard of doing it with cold water. I just use Minimate Instant Rice. So, <laughs> there's no such thing as washing your rice with that. I mean, there shouldn't be, right? So let me sit and sit for five to 10 minutes. No, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Okay. Five minutes. All right, what's next? Beat all the starch off, rinse it a couple times. Did he say beat it off? Beat all the starch off. Okay. Next. <laughs> We've got this big pot that we have to fill up with water. Fill it up. Oh, got to fill it up, fill it up. <laughs> Then what? You got this thing filled up right under your steamer grate. You're gonna go ahead and throw it right on the heat. All right, next we're gonna do our garlic butter. Oh, Very oh, oh. easy. You're just gonna take a few cloves of garlic, pop the little ends off, give them a smash. All right, so he doesn't wait. He doesn't do it that way. He cuts off the ends first, and then he does that. Yeah. What if I don't want to cut off the ends first? Um, we're following a tutorial right now, babe, and you have to do the, what the tutorial says. He does this so much better. <laughs> he does. Whew, I feel like I aged already just by watching this. Shit. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, now that the, it's been five minutes, we're supposed to whisk the rice to get all the starch out. Again, I don't know no, why. No, he said we had to beat off the rice. Beat all the starch off. Oh, all right, beat off the rice. You gotta beat it, Corey. Beat it. I'm trying to beat off the rice. And then we rinse it. We dump that out. Put more water in it and do it again. To 
be completely honest, I don't remember. Rewind the video. <laughs> So it's been about five or 10 minutes since our rice has been in here. So we're just gonna take a small whisk and just go ahead and. Oh, we did this? Oops. Oh, wait, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. Whisk that rice up. <laughs> whisk that rice up, loosen all that starch up. Then we're gonna take it over to the sink. Then you're gonna fill it up again. At this point, your rice is ready to go. Just prefer to the back of the rice pack to see how much water. In this case, it's gonna be a cup and a half. Cup and a half. At this point, your rice is ready to go. So we're gonna throw it on the stove, switch the cameras around and show you guys how to cook it. And all you need to know at this point is that your rice is on a medium heat until it comes to a simmer like this. And then all you're gonna do is take your lid, put it on and put this to the lowest heat possible and set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, we're back. Hulk smash it. You're just smashing it, right? Yeah, you just, you're just taking the shell off. We press it into the pot. Squeeze it in. Can you fit it all in? Peel your shells off and load them all into your garlic press. All right, once you've got all your garlic peeled and loaded in, we're like just gonna go ahead and press them out. into here. <laughs> and that's it. Just going ahead and put a stick of butter on, find your lid, put it on, and then sit it on the stove with no heat. Boom. Oh. All right, so garlic is in, stick of butter goes on. This is the worst paper, dude. <laughs> this garlic though smells amazing, I'm not gonna lie. It's just fresh garlic. All right, then we- Lid. This is not Wrong lid. lid. Where's the lid? All right, we set. And forget it. On the stove and just forget about Set it. Set it and forget <laughs> it. All right, what's next? I'm gonna put this in the back. Because we don't need that right now. Okay. Okay. Next, we're gonna do our lemon pepper dipping sauce. Go ahead and roll your lemons out. <laughs> break it up inside in that membrane. Wait, he has two lemons. Two lemons. Shit. Oh, they're right here. My other one's not been broken up yet. Yeah. Wait, you're going too fast. I can't keep up. Wait, we gotta roll it, and then we need we need bowls. bowls. I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. Bowls. Wait, I gotta I gotta get another bowl. It's been broken. Blessed be the fruit. May the Lord open. Okay, handmade. <laughs> Said it's just a shit ton of black pepper in the bowls. Wait, I think he put, does he put the lemon in first or is it that in first? I don't know. The larger grind and we're gonna have the pepper in there. If you want to get a generous amount of larger grind. Does that look generous? So, yeah, I'm it's very generous. A lemon fur cut. Mm. And once you're done, all you're gonna do is put these on the side until you're ready to crack into your crab. You know, what they don't tell you is how long prep work actually takes. It's like whenever HelloFresh is like. Oh, it's a five to ten minute prep time. Bitch, have you seen me cut fruit? That's how long it takes me to read the card. Fruit, not, not even fruit, veggies. Have you seen me? Yeah, like first off, it takes me like, I have to read everything through and then I have to cut the veggies. That thing is like steaming. That thing is farther along <laughs> in the process. I know. Me. So I have to like, it takes me like probably like 15 minutes just to do prep work and then I have to start the whole process for HelloFresh. So what's like a 30 minute meal is really like an hour and 30 minutes for me to cook. And if anyone's ever watched Corey on Twitch, Hashtag go follow Corey on Twitch, Theory CZ. Um, I have set off the smoke alarm several times, so that's during, always fun. my stream, where I have to run off, yep. off of the game and come figure out if the house is burning down. Yep, I was cooking day. soup and like a vegetarian shepherd pie and a uh, fire alarm always goes off. <laughs> now Jacqueline's gonna come in and show you how to make her Cajun sauce. 
so you can use any pot for this. We have a wok right now. I'm gonna start off with two and a half sticks of butter. No. Keep in mind that okay. you can multiply this butter. You double it, you can triple it, you can quadruple it for however Jacqueline, many hold on, hold on, Jacqueline, feeding. hold on. Since we have four pounds of crab tonight, two and a half okay. sticks of butter is gonna suffice. So we have this on medium heat. Pause it. I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. Can you turn that up? Okay, now this is definitely boiling, so we should turn this to lid. Low. And then low. Okay, so we have our butter in here. We have it on um, um, medium heat, and then she does eight cloves of garlic. What are you doing? You're not on a timer. <laughs> I feel like I am. You didn't cut off the ends. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fine. If they're being pressed, the ends won't make it all the way through. Okay. Let's see if you can actually press this. Okay, ready? Is it working? What did she say? Jordan has to do this because I haven't worked out in a few years. <laughs> I couldn't say the last time I worked out with you. Come on, you little bitch. <laughs> Baby, need your help. I can't. Hey, I can do both. Oh, show off. <laughs> the pressure's precious. You've got to add more. God damn, that's actually really hard to do. Just oh shit, shit, damn it. I lost a whole clove, we gotta get it. I'll get it, I'll get it. Let me squeeze this one. Oh yeah, you use those muscles. Oh yeah. My muscles actually really hurt because I tried. All right. One tablespoon of crushed red pepper flake. Honestly, one if you want to do more of this, you can. But it's just super okay. Ooh. Tablespoon red pepper flake, got it, confirmed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Basically the same time, and just kind of let that sit there and simmer because it's just gonna bring all of that to life and add more flavor to your sauce. Yes, Jacqueline. Sit here and stir this around until the butter is completely melted. We are on low heat. Taste oh. it. As you Wait, know. Ah, damn it! Add, this fucking thing keeps splattering and burning the shit out of me. It's got water everywhere. She said low heat. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna add in. A sh okay. Yeah, get that melted and stuff first. Oh wait, and then do low heat. Damn it, Jacqueline, no. you're confusing me. Get it all melted, and then once it's all melted, then we're gonna go to low heat. Mm. This is B-roll right now. No, you should do it close to you too. Okay. <laughs> all right, all the butter's melted. melted, we are on low heat. Okay. Taste it as you go, because you might want to add more garlic. You might want to add more of a certain seasoning. So make sure that you're finishing it to make sure that it's working. All right, so now I'm gonna add in a shit ton of we're seasoning. We're gonna add a shit ton of we're seasoning. Add literally one tablespoon of everything. Got it. Start off with paprika. This is smoked paprika. Is our smoked? Do we have smoked? Um, smoked paprika. Oh my god, it's smoked. Smoked. Okay, we're gonna add smoked. Okay, Jacqueline, you made this look way too easy in the video. Also, yeah, you just wing it. I don't like. Okay, smoked paprika. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, Jacqueline, what's next? Got it. We're gonna do one tablespoon of basil. Basil. Or, or basil. 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 basil or basil. Wait, bitch, you move too fast. Wait, hold on. Basil. Basil. Jacqueline, you didn't have the cap on yours. Just put three hours later. We're gonna do one tablespoon of basil. Yep, we just did basil. I'm gonna do like a half a tablespoon of oregano. Okay, well I don't have half a tablespoon, so no, we're just gonna eye it. She's doing one tablespoon too, she's just doing half full. That look half? Yeah, perfect, done. Okay. She likes it a little oh, more basil oregano. forward. Because I prefer the basil undertone. Me too. Undertones, that's <laughs> Me too, what it was. me too. A tablespoon of Cajun right here. Cajun. What did I just tell you about going too fast? We just had this conversation. Right, we haven't even gotten the cap off the, the cajun. And she's already moving on to the purse day. It's like when I follow your makeup tutorials. I can't keep up. Okay, so Cajun, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then 
a half cup of parsley. No, 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 half of tablespoon. Right here, we're gonna do a whole tablespoon of that guy. That's fine. Lemon pepper. Be really careful with this one because hold on, hold on, hold on. Why we just we just have this conversation? Where's my old bay? Old bay seasoning. <laughs> All right, so she did a full cup. It's not a full cup, bro. It's a tablespoon. That's what I said. I know what you're saying. You're saying a full of that cup. Yeah, dude. But a cup is also a measurement, so it's very confusing. Okay, lemon pepper. Oh god, that smells like shit. Well, she actually does so a tablespoon and a half. One tablespoon. Um, I love the taste of it, so I might want to add another few Yeah, and she adds a half later, so just do it now. She said half tablespoon of garlic powder. Wait, 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 watch this, ready? Woo! <laughs> We're besties. She doesn't know it yet. We're from Orlando, Florida. Don't be creeped up on me. I'm, I'm a really nice girl, I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't be creeped out. Okay, do you like this? No. Like this? Yes. And it's too round because you got mega lemons. That should be fine. Just go for it. Oh, this is gonna happen badly. Here it goes. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I don't have big enough. Ready? 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 Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, husband and wife duo. Oh. That'll do, kid. Okay. I didn't get the whole lemon though. That looks pretty similar. Preference, I like to let this sit in the pan for at least five, maybe ten minutes. Five to ten minutes, got it. Timer. Five. What is this? You have an ad? I don't have premium. Oh, wow. Or premiere, or whatever the fuck it's called. Cool. I'm in the middle of cooking right now. I need her. Wait, look. It's good, bad. No, we already added the more. We're fine. I'm also going to add in just a pinch of more lemon. Okay. And that's the fun thing about cooking other than baking. Yes, very fun. We're having tons of fun. <laughs> they make this seem so damn easy. It is, wait, which way does it go again? This way? Uh, first of all, that's the top of the entire thing. What do you mean? No, it's not. Yeah, close wait, it. How do you do this? Oh, durr. Okay, this way? Where do I sit? On the roof of the car? You're so good at this. I feel like she uses she uses another whole one. She says she doesn't, but let's, let's just be real. She really does. Okay. okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, It's fine. Okay. Taste test as you go, and then just decide what you want to add. Follow this recipe, and then just add one to it. Oh my god, money! It's actually pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> bomb. It's bomb. It's bomb. It's bomb. High five! High five! You're not. No, no, no. You're not leaving, though. But this is how that Wait, why? It has to be 20 minutes before the rice off. Alexa, how much time do we have left on the timer? Eight minutes. Wait, what's that counting down? Five minutes for that. that said, she said five to 10 minutes. Right, but that was five. That's what that's at. This is ready. Okay, well. Now we can we need to turn this on. We're gonna let that steam for ten more minutes. In the meantime, we've got Jacqueline's Cajun sauce here, and then we're Allie's. gonna take our garlic butter and okay. we're gonna put that on the lowest heat possible, and we're gonna let that what are you steam doing? melt and all that garlic oh. flavor. That's the wrong there. burner. And now we're gonna steam our crab. So this is the fun part. Looks like once you see it start steaming. Oh, it's steaming. You're just gonna take your lid off. 
gonna load this thing up. Babe, I don't wanna touch the crab. Can you touch the crab? Um, we got two pounds of crab because- They got four. They got four, they got a last king. But there's king. literally just us and not like other people here. Yeah, and they got a last king king. We just got snow crab. Um, so. That's five minutes for the sauce this summer. Still needs another five minutes, so. That's fine, so let's turn it off, turn it back on. But this needs six and a half minutes. Okay, so he says put the crab in for six and a half minutes. Oh, no, well, at least it smells like crab. Oh, God, does it really? Yeah. Oh, my God, look at the pinchers. Please don't. I'm gonna, like, my stomach's already, like, <sighs> I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry, Mr. Crab. All right, so we literally just put the crab in for six and a half minutes, and Farnham. Well, Farnham's not here right What's now. next, Farnham? We're gonna steam that for six minutes and 30 seconds and pull them right out. By that time, our garlic butter will be done, our rice will be almost done, and when we get everything ready to be plated up, we can take the rice out and we'll be good to go. I got nothing else to say other than watch the B-roll. because we don't have 100 questions to answer. No, but um, I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Okay. Do you want this one? Sure. This one. Grab it. Okay. And you break it off. It's a texture thing. You break it off. Okay, now what? Oh, crack them. Crack them. Where? Them. Where? Like right here? For the most part. I always did it like this. You put the fork in a little bit, and then you just cut that. Is there meat in these claws? Yeah. It's some of the best stuff. I'll let you do that one. What the hell is it? That's the tendons. Don't tell me that. You asked a question when I say, it's a string. Okay, so I'm gonna take my first bite. I'm gonna dip it in this garlic butter. Hmm. That's good. Wow. That's really good. Jacqueline wore gloves, but she doesn't like the smell of crab on her ham. Under her nails. Under her hand. Said, yeah. <laughs> Under her nail. Um, Under her I don't. Eye. I don't have. May the Lord open. I don't have nails, but. Okay. Nice. Okay. Jacqueline wore gloves, so I wore gloves. All right, I'm going straight for those famous Jacqueline Cajun sauce. It's a little spicy afterwards. Well, that's what she said. Take some sushi rice. We never made sushi rice before either. No, that was a first too. Okay, Farnham. Uh, you guys are making delicious food. Now, I really want to make, I love risotto. I really want to make the shrimp risotto, or scallop risotto, but you don't really like scallops. Me? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that I won't try it. Mm. I just might eat something else after. <laughs> um, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. No, I was really, really it was scared. It's a lot of work. Hey, yeah, they make it look so easy on camera. It's really not that easy. Uh, I struggled hardcore. <laughs> I think we both did. Um, it took us a lot longer it's also to do it. the first time we've ever done this. Yeah. yeah. 
and uh, we hope we did it right. I like, not gonna lie, I did like look up online and make sure that we cooked it long enough. That was like six and a half minutes, that's it? Yeah, but um, this is good. I am impressed. Very nice. Very nice. Jacqueline, I will be testing out your lipsticks right now. See how well they hold up while eating this, but um, they don't come in until tomorrow, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we wanted to get this out. Yeah, so I am. Um, by the time you got, by the time you see this, this video, I've already gotten the lipsticks, but um, we wanted to get this out before him. Oh, 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 babe, will you lick that? Oh, say less. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, guys, so we're gonna um, enjoy our food. Uh, Farnum, thank you so much for actually providing a really good dinner. I was really scared. You say going that like Hippie doesn't always do that. Thank you for actually providing it. No, no, you do, but we haven't like, we, we need to like, I wanna like kind of like recreate all your videos, but we haven't like done some of this ever, ever in our, we've been- I've never made crab. We've this. never made crab. We've been together for 13 years. We've never made crab together. I rarely ever order crab on public unless it's like a specific like crab restaurant, then I will, because I get really scared. And I was so scared going into this because I had this big thing about texture, like cracking things up. I just had to think about texture, but I really want to make this. You guys made it look so good. Jacqueline said this is like her ride or die meal. This is what she would like, her last meal she'd ever have before she goes. Like, One to two to three times a week. Or, you know, if this was like her last meal before she goes to jail. Like, no, no, you know, no, that was a five. Death row. Beef. Oh yeah, and but she said also the scallop risotto. But she said how much she loves this. You guys show it all the time on your Instagram and I just really wanted to recreate this. We both did, so thank you so much for making this super easy, very beginner friendly pretty much. And oh, yeah. uh, it's so good. So Cheers. thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Corey's channel down below because he does have a YouTube channel. He just needs to start posting on it. It's just but, stuff um, from my Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash theory CZ for yeah, all of your I'll have our thing link linked down below. And uh, I do Go post. check out more seasoning. Go check out more seasoning. I will link Farnham's channel down below. And obviously go follow Miss Jacqueline Hill because <laughs> she's the queen. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And uh, Thank you so much to all these beautiful Patreon members. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Right here. And uh, Above with, my <laughs> with that said, guys, I love each and every single one of you guys so much. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you did subscribe either way. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. So <laughs> with that said, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! Bye.